folks, Captain Mikey coming to you from beautiful North Florida. What an absolutely gorgeous day here. It's about 90 degrees today and it's only May. Gotta love Florida. I am super excited about today. I'm gonna do a little unboxing. A few things that have been sent to me from some of my subscribers. I'm really excited to see what's in these, what's in these packages here. As you guys know, the follow the channel, at the end of every single video, I ask you guys, if you have any ideas, anything you'd like to see me try, or anything you'd like to challenge me to, let me know, and I'll do my very best to make a video out of that. Well, some of you are actually listening, because I actually got a few things in the mail that we're gonna put to the test today. And I'm really excited about that, guys. I have subscribers from every corner of this globe, it seems. And I'm really, really excited and really want to try the techniques that are used in other areas of this world. Maybe they don't necessarily have bass that they fish for, but I'll try any lure to try to catch a bass here in Florida with. If it's something that works wherever you are in this world, I want to try it here. And I put that challenge out there many times and a few of you have actually listened. All I know is I got one package from Australia. I think they're lures. I'm not sure what we're gonna get into into these packages. So let's just get right into it and let's see what we got. I'm gonna open this stuff. I'm gonna try to figure out what it is and I'm gonna head out on that lake right behind me and put them to the test today. I absolutely know who sent this one. They even sent me a nice little letter in this one. This is from Stephen Hyde. Stephen Hyde, a great dude, awesome guy, and one of my patrons. Now Stephen actually lives in New Zealand, and he's an avid fisherman over there in New Zealand. What he told me in this in, in his letter is some of these lures are the most are very popular in Australia. We're testing out Australian New Zealand lures here today, sent by my patron and great subscriber and really good friend, Stephen Hyde. He sent me this really nice little package, this nice little box. That's his handwriting, I'm gonna assume, because the letter was handwritten really nicely, very nicely printed and written out, signed, the wife, Emma. Stephen, don't worry about it, brother. I have the same problem. My handwriting sucks. And my wife pretty much rewrites everything I do as well, too. <laughs> but awesome. There it is. I can't wait to open it up, see what's inside here, and put them to the test today. Because that's what we're going to do. Australian, New Zealand, whoo, here in Florida. This is going to be fun. All right, let's see what's in this package here from Stephen Hyde all the way down under. Awesome, awesome little note here. I loved it. I'm going to spare most of my viewers. In this package, he's got some very interesting things. He found some interesting soft plastics. They're handmade, and he thought that if anybody can catch something on them, it's going to be me. And some custom-made jig heads. And he's also put in here one of the most popular lures used in Australia. Let me know if you catch something on it. Absolutely, brother, I'm gonna do even better than that. I'm gonna let you watch me catch something on it. I'm excited for this. The first one, nice bubble wrap. Oh, looks like we got some kind of a crankbait in here. Oh, check that out. That is bomb. I have never seen an, a crankbait like this. This is a Ballista Dino 60 with LED technology. Blood Flash Frenzy, what? LED tape, so this thing like flashes too? It's a crankbait that flashes. The ele Australian electronic crankbait. Ha <laughs> ha, that is awesome, Steven. First off, it's, it's plastic crankbait. It's got a nice, really wide brill on it, real wide brim, and it's of course a very unique shape. I like the coloring though, the gold and the dark brown. Uh, that'll definitely work in a lot of these water conditions here. Steven, or anybody that might use these back home, let me know what kind of bait fish this is supposed to be imitating as far as color wise here it says it has led technology it's gonna flash or something so that's really cool usually gets in the water this oh, oh look it it's flashing dude can you guys see that there's a little red light flashing in there there's a, oh here maybe we can see it over here ouch there it is see that that is awesome so there's a flashing red light right in the ball in the back of this in the tail end of it this thing looks like it's gonna have a really cool action to it. I'm really, I'm excited to try it out. But not only that, with that big wide brim like that, it should probably go through structure and cover fairly well. Right on. I can't wait to try this thing. Ballista Dino, Ballista Dino. 
Super deep, super tough. Killer, awesome. That's lure number one. Right. Let's see what else we got in here. So there's another package. So he said he had some really unique soft, handmade soft plastics. Neat packages. Oh yeah, oh, oh look at, check these out. These are pretty cool. These are really cool actually. Oh, look at that, man. They're like a little, uh, like, I can't know what we call it, like a mudfish or a mud skipper, like a little goby or something like that. Good plastic. I like the material. They're not overly large. They're probably about three inches. Oh, for sure I'm going to catch something on that. And it gave me a bunch of different colors here. Probably got five or six different colors to try out. Oh, man, for sure. Oh, I'm excited about that. I am definitely, I can tell you right now, Steven, I'm going to catch something on this for sure. Not exactly sure how I'm going to fish this yet. A drop shot looks like it would be awesome on it. But I think I'm just going to take a small little worm hook or something. Try to rig it like Texas rig. A small little weight. And try to work it, work it around the weed edges. That is killer. Are you kidding me? Check out these lures that Steven sent me from Australia. <laughs> can I fish? Can I catch bass in Florida, United States? With lures from Australia? That sounds like a challenge to me, and that is a challenge accepted. Let's get out there and let's start ripping some lips, Australian style. Woo! Well, that is just plain awesome right there. I've got lures from Australia, handmade soft plastics, and a crankbait that I've never seen before. My subscribers have chose the lures. They told me what they want to see me try. Can I make them work? Can I use lures from Australia out here on this lake in the United States? for largemouth bass. That sounds like an awesome challenge to me. Stay tuned, folks. You're not gonna wanna miss this. I'm ready to catch some fish, and I'm gonna throw, start throwing this Australian crankbait. I have a feeling this thing is just going to crush them here. I like the color, I like the pattern. Uh, I like the fact that it's got that little red LED, whether that does anything or not. It says that's about three meters. Three meters, a meter is, is pretty close to a yard roughly three feet and change. So about nine to 10 feet is probably what this thing's supposed to dive. We're just gonna start off here and check it out. See what the action's like. Ooh, it's got a nice wide wobble to it. That's really cool, guys. My brand new crankbait rod. I love this rod. This is this is the uh, Speed Demon Pro crankbait, seven foot series. This is S-Glass. It's got incredible, incredible flex to it. The, the sensitivity, you can just see See the tip of this thing wobbling around like crazy. This rod is just killer. And as I see it coming through the water here, it does, it dives nice and deep. It's probably diving somewhere in and around seven or eight feet. But it's got that re a really nice wide wobble to it. Not the tight wobble that you typically see on a lot of our crankbaits. I really think this is gonna work very well. Oh, there we go, got one, got one. Got our first one on this. Yeah, the Australian crankbait got us one. Woo! -hoo. Yeah! <laughs> yes! I knew this thing would work. I had full faith in it. I was ju just gonna say, oh, he hammered that too. I was just about to say, I think maybe I should slow down. Maybe like really use this this wide wobble this thing's got. Take advantage of it. And there it is, Slayerbo. Not a giant. But he definitely said, I'm ready for a trip down under. Throw another shrimp on the bobby, mate. Yeah, I apologize. Horrible, horrible Australian accent, I'm sure. Come on. There it is. There it is. The first one on the Australian crankbait. Awesome. I have a feeling we're going to get plenty of those today. Plenty of them. Let's move on to these crazy little soft plastics that Steven gave me here. He also gave me a bunch of these smaller jig heads. And that's what I'm gonna start off with first. Now I'm assuming because you gave me these jig heads that that's how you would fish these back home. I'm not on the ideal lake for that. I have so much weed. This is definitely not a weedless version here. So I'm gonna have to keep it moving pretty quickly and move it quite a bit to hopefully it doesn't get down into those weeds. But this is the way you gave it to me. So this is the way I'm going to try first. I love the colors. Absolutely love the colors that are in here. Like a watermelon red almost. Got like a gold copper watermelon. Like a dark green pumpkin. These are perfect colors, very natural colors. I'm gonna try this one here. Not really sure what you would call this color. Kind of a yellowish beige with a silver sparkle. 
real nice looking. I think it's gonna look out real nice and natural in this water. That's pretty cool looking. That is really cool looking. I, li I like this. This is cool. Like I said, this looks like, to me, this looks like what we call down the Great Lakes, we call these gobies. Uh, they were actually an invasive species. Maybe they came from Australia. I don't really know. Because it is fairly lightweight. I've just got to tie it onto a spinning rod. Oh, wow. The action of this thing in the water is actually really cool. As long as I can get this, you know, keep this out of the weeds and get it near fish, this is definitely going to get eaten. No problem. Cool, the little side fins, they flap. He swims. It's like he's swimming. That is a really cool soft plastic. Wow, I like that. I like that. That thing's awesome. Right. So here we go. Let's try out these very unique Australian soft plastics. I'm going to have to try to move this thing fairly quickly. It is very weedy, weedy where I am. Try to keep it moving without letting it get all the way down into the, the weeds down near the bottom. But I think this thing's got such a unique look and action to it. I really, I really think as long as there's a fish around, I think it's going to eat it. I really think so. I am surprised. I know there's fish here. I can see them. I'm surprised I haven't got one yet. It looks so awesome. I can't imagine why they won't eat it. All right, I need a break from the grasshopper. The grasshopper is not working so far. I put about 40 minutes into that stinking grasshopper and nothing so far. I'm not gonna give up, but I'm giving up for now. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, he just popped off. Ah. That was a decent one too. Ooh. Oh, they love this Australian crankbait though. Oh, did I get him? Oh, I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. Oh, he's so tiny. That's why I felt a good hit. But then I couldn't tell if I still had him. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he was so small, that's why. Wow. Ambitious little dude. <laughs> he gave me a good hit, though. Well, that's a fish. That's a, oh yeah, that's a nice fish. I thought I was on that piece of grass. We got a piece of bass here. Oh, stay hooked, stay hooked. That's a nice fish. That's a much better fish. Much better than the first one. Oh yeah. He's a good one. Good one. Woo! Yeah! That's a beauty! Beauty! Yes! Look at that Australian lure right in the right in the lip. Alright, here we go. There it is. There it is. Nice, what a beautiful fish. I actually thought I was about to get stuck up on some grass. He must have been sitting right next to it there. But big, fat, healthy, hammered it. The Australian crankbait, just hammered it. Woo, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, buddy, thank you so very much. There he goes. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's go get some more. Well, I'm actually at my third spot trying this soft plastic from Australia. I love this thing. I love the way it looks. I love the way it moves in the water. I think it's awesome. But for some reason, I'm really struggling. I consistently catch fish in these spots. And I've gotten zero strikes on this thing. The only thing I can think of is it's just too foreign. On the Great Lakes, we call these gobies. And they were an invasive species. They actually ran kind of wild throughout the Great Lakes for quite a while because nothing would eat them. It took uh, several years of these things going crazy 
before the local fish population started realizing that they were actually edible. Honestly, that's probably the only thing I can actually think of though, why this thing hasn't gotten me any kind of action or any hits yet. It just looks too foreign. I don't buy that excuse, I honestly don't. There are all sorts of different creature baits and weird, weird bass lures out there that I couldn't even tell you what they're supposed to be resembling. This definitely resembles a fish of some sort, and it has a nice little action in the water, a nice swim to it. I just can't understand why they haven't eaten it. Well, I guess that's why it's a challenge. Steven, you got me good. I hope to God I can get this one done. At least get one fish on this so I can call that a challenge complete for you. I've gone through a bunch of different colors now. I've tried a bunch of different riggings. I'm almost, almost out of options. I really don't know what else to do. And I tried drop shotting. I was marking fish, but I didn't catch anything. Not a bite. I can't believe I'm not getting hit. I can't believe it. Just can't believe it. This is crazy. I'm just gonna work the thing slowly across the bottom. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm moving it too much. Maybe it just should be sitting there. I don't really know. Maybe that's all it is. I'm just working it too fast. I'll just try to work it a little slower across the bottom, see what happens. I don't know what else to do, guys. I mean, I'm running out of, running out of light here. I've probably got maybe 30 minutes of sunlight left. I'm just like literally just drifting down here, just dragging this thing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what else to do. I really thought this was gonna be a slam dunk. I thought this was gonna be a super easy challenge. Wait a minute, guys. That thing, oh, Jesus, I got one, I got a fish, cool. All right. <laughs> we got one! We got little bass! Oh, he's just a dink! Get in here! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I was, just dra oh, I was just dragging this thing across the bottom and he got in. <laughs> I didn't even feel him. I just seen the line running out that way and all of a sudden he's. Oh my Yeah! Oh, you have no idea how good that felt. Oh my god, you got hammered. You have no idea how good that feels. I have been at this lure on three different spots for days now, several days. <sighs> that is my first bite and first fish. And I can't believe it because I really like this thing. But I did it. I got one. <laughs> I got one. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Woo. Woo we did it. <sighs> I have no idea why that was so hard. <sighs> and I really wish I would have gotten a bunch of them or some big ones, but I don't care. I got one. I got one on this Australian custom made soft plastic. Handmade soft plastics here that looks like a little muddy mud skipper. I thought it was going to slay the bass, but it was tough. It was one, of, honestly, one of, if not the toughest challenge I've had to face yet. They, the crankbait. That thing was awesome. It worked just as well as I thought it was. No problem whatsoever. I think that can catch fish anywhere, anytime. That is a fantastic lure. These little soft plastics, I don't know what it is behind it, but they are tough. I'm gonna take these to the salt water, to the inshore uh, and go for like snook and redfish. I think that's gonna do a lot better on those. For some reason, the freshwater bass don't seem all that interested in it. That was a tough challenge. Whew, but we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. I finally got it done. After three different lakes and three different days, we got it. I've got about half an hour left. I'm going to keep tossing this around. Maybe I'll get lucky and get another one. But if not, whoo that's it. Challenge complete. Whew. Thank you, Stephen, for one of the toughest challenges I've done yet. What a day, folks. That was definitely one of the toughest challenges I faced. I tried to come up with every excuse in the book as to why those soft plastics weren't working. I think I realized it was all my fault. That's why he gave me jig heads, and now I figured it out. It's supposed to be on the bottom, work really slowly. I was swimming that thing. I had it dangling on a drop shot. I did just about everything I could with that thing, except 
what I was supposed to. I had pretty much just given up. I was just pouting, holding the rod there and letting the thing drag behind me. And that's when it got a fish because that's what it was supposed to be doing the whole time. <sighs> My bad. Stephen Hyde sent me those lures from Australia and challenged me to see if I can get those to work down here in Florida. It was a challenge indeed, but I did it and I got them to work finally. Whew, that was a tough one, Stephen, but thank you so very much. And if you have anything like that, no matter where you're from, it doesn't matter what corner of this world you're from, if you have some lures from your hometown or some techniques that your father taught you, and you want me to try them out here to see if I can make them work down here in Florida, send them to me. Send them to the P.O. box down in the description. So bring it on, guys. No matter what you got, send it to me. I'll do my very best to make it happen right here in North Florida. Got to give a great big shout out, of course, to Stephen Hyde for sending me this challenge all the way from New Zealand. So I also want to give a great big shout out to all the other patrons of Sawgrass Passing. Michael Rice, Stephen Hyde, Walt Merriberger, all the way from Germany. If I said that wrong, I apologize, my friend. And of course, I can't forget Sawgrass Passes' newest patron, Kevin Riker, right here from the beautiful state of Florida. Kevin, welcome to the Sawgrass Passing family. If you're interested in becoming a patron of Sawgrass Passing, make sure you check out the Patreon page. Find out what all the perks and advantages are to becoming a patron of Sawgrass Passing and joining the SGB family as well. Well, guys, that was an absolute blast. I had so much fun out here. I really hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I hope you learned a little something. If you did, make sure you smash the heck out of that like button. And leave a comment for me for anything else you'd like to see me film out here. I'll be more than happy to make a video out of each and every one of those. But most importantly, guys, subscribe to that channel. And if you're already subscribed, well, stay subscribed because there's plenty more coming in Sawgrass Bass's future. One last time, guys, from beautiful North Florida, I'm catching Florida fish on Australian lures. It's Captain Mikey signing out. The future is bright. You keep those lines tight.